Hey everyone, Sean here and welcome to another uh, comparison video of sorts and review for uh, some wheel cleaners that I like to uh, try out. Uh, once again though, we are featuring the People's Champ or People's Favorite Dark Fury from Superior Products, uh, which is a wheel and bug uh, cleaner of sorts and it is uh, you know, safe for the body and stuff like that and um, uh, quite, quite the contender in comparison to other wheel cleaners, right? But we have a potential contender against Dark uh, Fury today with Nanoskin's non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. Uh, and I bought this by the gallon because I had to because um, the appeal of this one especially is the price point. Uh, it, it is just 20 bucks on Amazon per uh, per gallon. So I had to uh, grab this one. It was at $34.99 at, that po uh, at some point. It went back down at some point, but it, but it did. I had to seize the opportunity. So I, that's why I bought this by the gallon. Whereas Dark Fury, you can kind of see it's already empty. So you already know um, the timeline for this uh, portion. But anyways, I wanted to, uh, you know, make your introductions. And uh, so what we're going to do is, of course, compare these two. Um, but there's a little bit of a catch right here for this video is that the car I was working with, uh, which is my sister's, sister's car, you know, it has those plastic rims on it. So was, there was really no point of trying to clean the wheel portion of things. So really, um, this is going to be a tire cleaning battle rather than a wheel cleaning and wheel and tire cleaning battle um that'll be for another time i'll try to get another thing of this stuff to um make that um round two so to say so think of this one as round one so um but you know in round two you'll probably you'll you know they'll uh, it'll be like both round two and a tiebreaker because you know technically you can win two points right because it's wheels and the tire right whereas this time around it's just the tires but the tires were pretty damn dirty nonetheless so this was a pretty fun uh test to do with these two anyway this is a comparison video so uh what i'm going to do uh is do a one to four uh dilution ratio which means uh, basically eight ounces of product to 32 ounces of water so and before i forget of course again um by the gallon this is uh 20 bucks or 21 bucks depending on the timing right but dark fury by the gallon is around 27.99 or 28 bucks so you can kind of already see sort of the appeal for um this non-acid wheel wheel tire cleaner anyway surprisingly from nano skin of all of all uh places right so um pretty pretty interesting so that's why i really wanted to do this video um you know it was like kind of brewing up in my, in my mind so let's get to it all right so here is dark fury just about eight ounces of this bad boy which i believe should be just about the entire or the rest of the bottle so right there more or less into the IK foam sprayer once again. I do I do have uh, 64 ounces in there, so that would have not made things right. <laughs> and look at that darkness. Looks like soy sauce. <laughs> I think I said that before, but I think I accidentally cut that out. So eight ounces in there, and then when I do 32 ounces, thus actually um, making it one to four. Eight ounces of now nano skin. And that is just about right. Yep, no more uh, Dark Fury, pretty much. And then now we can just pour the rest of this with water. 
So that was just uh, 32 ounces at, uh, intended. All right, and now we can begin with, uh, so for the sunny side, we're gonna do um, nano skin, which I really well, can't wait to uh, try it out. Let's go ahead and pump it up. And there we go. I'm gonna also spray this tire as well. Make sure we got the bottom. So, and you go already see the reaction taking place with nano skin very, very quickly. It foams white, so you can actually tell, you know, what's uh, going on with uh, this wheel cleaner, unlike you know Dark Fury. But we're gonna still give it about a minute, so uh, bear with me. All right, it's just about uh, more so a minute-ish, so we're gonna just play a little more, and then we're gonna get started on here. And here we go. Yeah. Yeah, pretty dirty tire, as you can see. Oh man, look at that. I'm gonna try to use this one today to really get in there. Bend it a little bit. As far as I can, that is. Yeah. All right, we're switching over to a different one. I think this will fit a lot better. I did not think it would be this tight of a fit. And even with this, it is making things pretty difficult. So I think what I'll do is just um, do the tire actually. So focus on the tire because this is just pretty much impossible to like reach in there, you know? And then as I as before I think I did a second pass just to see. And we're just gonna see if it still turns brown or not. It slightly does. Still slightly brown, but actually they did a pretty good job on the first pass for sure. But it is um, still recommended to do two passes at least. If you're gonna go for a 
sort of a deeper clean to especially um, prepare for, <clears throat> excuse me, prepare, prepare for a uh, a tire dressing. Okay, so it has a long pass, so it's gonna reactivate it while the front tire is drying. Man, look at this tire. It is dirty. <clears throat> Man, look at that. It's like a sludge. And similar result, the uh, foam on the second pass has only slightly changed in comparison to before. So it does a pretty good job. On just generally cleaning the tire. And let's get this off. So overall so far with NanoSkin, it does do a really good job on the first pass. And then you want to do a second pass to ensure, just for assurance that, yeah, you clean off everything. But I think it when, within two passes, it definitely cleans it off. Whereas something like Brake Buster is still, is like dirty, dirty, and then maybe on the third pass you'll get it, or after the third pass, um, or even more, depending on how dirty the tire or wheel is, so. But in this case with the tire, uh, Nano Skin did a pretty good job within the two passes. So let's go to uh, Dark Fury now. Sorry about that, I didn't realize the cable was in the way until now. And when you see the front wheel drying up, it's uh, definitely not as brown as before. I can definitely tell you that it's a pretty clean tire after the two passes. And then the little that I did inside the wheel. Um, let me see if I can take you guys closer, but there it is. Kind of see that I was able to do that much with the little I did um, on uh, inside the wheel <laughs> but the tire most importantly in this test today it definitely cleaned off um, I would say like 95% of it just from visually telling uh, I know the camera can obscure things because sometimes especially in lower light uh, it's t it tends to bring up more noise video noise so that kind of like uh, creates a bit of extra uh, like little artifacts that could appear as uh, dirty tire spots or whatever, but um, I can assure you with my eyes that it cleaned off a, uh, very much um, of the dirt and blooming and stuff like that off the tire. And and again, Nano Skin did a pretty good job with that. On uh, top of the fact that it uh, foam was white 
unlike Dark Fury and is still cleaned pretty damn well. Now it is time for Dark Fury. All right, Dark Fury time. Here we go. Got that nice um, coffee like coffee cream like consistency and color once again. And once again, we're going to give it about a minute. All right, it's been about a minute. Scrubbing time. Second pass. Uh, kind of a similar effect, but because the foaming is a little brown already, it is hard to uh, tell completely. But the foam is uh, lighter in color on the second pass. So I imagine a similar effect of sorts. For Dark Fury. All right, time for the other back tire. All right, second pass. All right, let's go check if the front tire is dry enough. Okay, so 
from the dry spots that we are I am able to see it is quite similar but I think it might be safe to say that by a slight hair or, or so a little better maybe but you know the sun is in my eyes so it's like kind of hard to tell okay there we go but here's the tire for dark fury front tire for dark fury it's a little drier but um you know it is in the shade it does you know change things up a bit but if it's just a slight hair that means you know you can definitely say right away um that they do clean similarly they both do a great job cleaning the tire on two passes so one could call it a tie i i, I wouldn't uh, disagree to that um maybe maybe a slight edge to dark fury maybe but i gotta take a look at the footage and stuff like that and, and also let the tire completely dry whereas Nano skin over here. I'll take this at a slight angle here. And also a pretty fantastic job cleaning the, uh, the tire rather. Again, this is gonna be a tire cleaning uh, round for this video. And I will also say that Nano skin did a pretty damn good job Let's check out the back for the nano skin side. And if you can tell, there is some browning right there, but that's also like kind of a, diff those are like difficult spots for me to get. So for the parts that I did really clean, they did clean it off. So it does it, uh, ask for agitation for sure. It's not a contactless uh, product for sure. But in comparison to other sort of tire cleaners and stuff, yeah, nano skin that definitely takes the cake. But versus Stark Fury, it definitely is harder to tell. Yeah, the more I dry off the Dark Fury side, it definitely shows pretty similar results. So, I say overall though, they clean very similarly. So, maybe slight, slight edge to Dark Fury, but you know, then again, it's in the shade, whereas Nano Skin is in the sun, so it does show more, right? But uh, we will see, uh, I will see in post and uh, kind of decide for myself. Although, although right here, there is some uh, stuff on the inner rim of the tire on this one. When it comes to the back, it, um, Dark Fury and Nano Skin perform very similarly. Alright, so we're back. Um, I did take a, a look at the video quite a bit. And I gotta say, like, they both had uh, some interesting results, especially during, uh, like, in the inner part of the tire, right? The, the center part of the tires. Um, both these two left something, right? There's there were some misses in um, more towards the center of the tire. You know, those, that inner part that kind of touches the wheel. Um, it definitely there was something there especially on dark fury strangely it like left a more like a whitish thing i'm not sure what that is so um i don't know it's it's hard to say though i mean otherwise all the other parts of the tire were very similar so dark fury and uh nano skin uh i would say are very very neck uh, neck and neck um i know i did say i gave it the slight edge over dark fury but but the more i saw the footage the more i thought they are pretty damn close um so it was pretty tough to kind of like come to a verdict here um and pick a winner uh but let's go over some things right so dark fury uh is a tire and wheel cleaner 
but also it is a bug cleaner as well so you could you know use it on your car like the rest of your car your paint and stuff like that whereas you don't really uh doesn't really say about um nano skin but it does say painted and uh chrome and uh, factory wheels and stuff like that so if it if, if it can um work with painted wheels theoretically this should be able to work on um uh the car's paint as well but i um advise to be very careful about that if you want to do like a test spot or something that's on that is on your discretion i will um go ahead and say like i personally don't recommend it just because i don't know you know so i have never tried it myself so um uh it is hard to say when it comes to the sort of uh, other uses for each of them. But, you know, but when it comes to Dark Fury, you, uh, it is um, officially, you know, for sure, officially stated that you could use this as a bug cleaner. So um, that is a pretty nice um, a feature there for Dark Fury. But again, theoretically, you could also do the same kind of with... Um, this non-acid tire and uh, wheel cleaner from Nanoskin. So, you know, you can kind of experiment that on your own. Anyways, so, because, right, because they clean so similarly, in my opinion, right, you have to remember the price point, right? So, I believe this is um, uh, $28 by the gallon, right? You can also buy an 8-ounce bottle. Um, this gallon actual gallon here is was um twenty dollars at the time i bought it you know before tax and all that stuff shipping and all that stuff and this is also before shipping as well and um so taking that into mind right if you actually go by the value and stuff like that versus, um and performance i gotta give it to nano skins uh cleaner wheel entire cleaner just from that alone right uh, but, you know, if you want to use this for multiple pur purposes, then that gets a little more hairy or it gets a little more gray because we don't know if this is capable of doing so. Um, you could theoretically do so since it does say painted wheels as well. But again, I would not do that on, uh, or I, I would do that at your own discretion, you know, to keep that in mind. Um, whereas this officially says it, so... If you want something that does have multiple purposes, you're better off um, or you're, you're safer off using Dark Fury. Whereas, yeah, in theory, you could use this one, too, um, as a pre-treat of sorts. You know, I forget to say that this is a this would make a good pre-treat. But um, as for me personally, right um, you know, just thinking about all uh, all the other sort of factors into play besides just the performance i'm gonna actually give it to nano skin this time you know um the fact that this costs 20 bucks on amazon right so it's very much access not only accessible but the ch uh, it is a cheaper price whereas um <clears throat> dark fury even when you buy it from uh straight from the website or you know o'reilly's which is the uh, exclusive distributor and such it is tw around 28 bucks right you know um on the uh on your average day so it is a little more expensive so therefore by the gallon this is cheaper and um like i said it performed very similarly with dark fury you know especially when these two left behind something in a in a very similar spot in my eyes yeah i'm gonna have to give it to nano skin uh, for right now Maybe uh, when I test it on another car that has like you know nice dirty tires and uh, and wheels as well, we can do a do do a round two. But for right now, round one, I'm gonna give it to Nano Skin. So just solely because of the accessibility, the value, and the similar performance that it has with Dark Fury. Whereas Dark Fury, yes, it is still kind of cheaper than uh, other uh, wheel wheel tire cleaners, but. Um, when I do buy it online, you have to pay for shipping. Um, whereas this is already included uh, with Prime and stuff like the Amazon Prime, which is also a huge plus for me personally. But I have to like, um, you know, pay shipping or I have to add shipping and taxes 
um, to the $28 per gallon for Dark Fury. And, uh, uh, you know, and, and yes, I can always pick it up at the store, but, you know what I mean? Like, that does um, present itself a, you know, a bit of a hassle. I had to go out my way to buy it just to get this. Whereas, again, this performs so similarly to Dark Fury. Why not for me to just buy it there? And then it's, like, so convenient. I can just buy it, um, just uh, wait for it to ship and have it arrive at my door rather than having to go their door to get Dark Fury, you know, in this case. But, yes, um, you know, uh, experiences will vary because this could be in stock at that person's um, O'Reilly. So... Um, and in my case, though, all the O'Reilly's nearby me do not have this in stock, nor superior product stuff in general. They just don't have it on their shelves for some reason. I have to go to the man uh, store manager, ask them to order it for me, you know, and I don't, you know, I prefer not to go out, you know, my way when, when there is something like this that I can just arrive at my door and do pretty much the same. Um, other than the fact that, well, we don't know if this has multiple uses or not. But I'm looking for a wheel tire cleaner at the de end of the day. And this is something um, that will definitely cover it. So I'd rather get this over this. That these will perform similarly once again in the next video. So, But, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, see that video, leave it down in the comment section below. And hit the thumbs up and all that stuff. And subscribe. Because that way you can see more of these videos. So... Again, I give it, give my hat off to um, uh, Nanoskin non-acid cleaner or na not non-acid wheel tire cleaner from Nanoskin. But again, I do want to make this clear: this is not a bad product at all, right? Um, this will perform you very, very well, especially if you're a uh, mobile detailer or a uh, professional detailer where you do on the business side of things, right? Um, you know, it may be accessible to you. But this is definitely more accessible for me. Again, though, these two perform great, unlike the uh, more marketed um, wheel tire cleaners and such like that. So, well, I do. Uh, I forgot to almost talk about one other thing, though. Um, Dark Fury has a very similar color to to um, Dirty Tires, right? So it's brown right off the bat, whereas this foams white. So um, that also is another factor that i like about it as well because it uh, has a more bluish appearance and when you foam it it's white you know whereas this it foams brown so it's a little harder to tell right when you know if uh you you have you have done enough passes on those tires or not right whereas this is like yeah this is obviously better to, um or it's just you can just tell better right just because it foams white and it tells you, hey, the tire is still dirty or not, you know. So yeah, again, that's another factor as well. So it's just it's just, it really winds down to like what's more convenient for you, right? Again, these two perform very similarly. So all right, I'm gonna leave it off. Uh, leave off of that. Uh, they both are great. Um, if you like Dark Fairy better. Hey, man, I don't blame you for that. <laughs> Whereas, hey, if you like nanoskin, I get it. I totally get it. You know, I, now I be, I'm a believer for nanoskin. Um, if I were to, uh, you know, go have my go-to, yeah. Um, for right now, it's this guy right here. So, good stuff. Pretty fun test, um, especially uh, on the dirty tire. And, yeah, again, comment, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. We appreciate you guys. This has been my video on... The comparison of Dark Fury versus Nanoskin Non-Acid Wheel Cleaner. I mean, I guess there is a plus for Dark Fury. It has a name. It rolls off the tongue. Whereas you have to say this whole thing. <laughs> Technically. So, alright. Thank you very much. Hope to see you all in the next video. Sean out.